Hello, hello, this is Rod, Live Within Your Means. Just wanted to show you a little bit about uh, storing squash seeds. Now these seeds uh, I put on this paper towel about a week ago, maybe it was a week and a half ago from uh, uh, butternut squash that, uh, that we had uh, grown here in Pleasant Grove that was uh, full, of, full of seeds that I thought, you know, we'll be able to use these and there, there might be I don't know, somewhere between one and 200 squash seeds there. And those seeds are viable seeds. And whether you got the uh, butternut squash from the store or whether you grew it or got it from a neighbor, in fact, this one might be one that we were given from a neighbor because we had eaten our butternut squash that we had. Nevertheless, <clears throat> it's pretty easy to do. This is another squash called a Queensland Blue. And... Uh, doesn't look too good right there, but it's really not a bad squash at all. It's actually sweet like butternut. And this is still full of the seeds, and I'll take a, an ice cream scoop and scoop the, the seeds out there, put them in the bowl. This is the, the half of the squash that I've taken those out of. There's another spaghetti squash that we'll be eating at some point here. But we'll scoop those squash seeds out. And what I like to do is I will label a paper towel and uh, before I put them on it. So this right here, if you can read that, it actually says butternut squash two for the month of February 2020. And I put that on there, like I said, just in the last couple of weeks. Here's a new paper towel, uh, it's Queensland blue squash, and I put three 2020, because it's now, I think it's the 6th of March today. And what I'll do is I'll take these seeds here and uh, separate the, the seeds from the other stuff and I'll just put those on the on the paper towel here grab those and be putting those on and let those dry out for a few days and depending upon the the type of squash and even the size uh, they'll produce quite a few seeds and I'll usually get you know, some of this orange stuff out of the way but I'll put this on these on the paper towels like I had with this butternut squash and you know that's enough that I could grow uh, squash plants for the whole neighborhood and give out uh, squash seeds that are uh, you know sprouted in little containers. In fact, I may even use uh, little containers like this to get some little squash plants growing and give those away. Nevertheless, I'll put those on the paper towel and I'll fold that up after it dries and I'll put that into a Ziploc bag like this was in here. Now, I did have uh, the, these squash seeds in a paper bag, but I, or a plastic bag, but I pulled those out. And I actually had some other, uh, some of those, these are actually some of those very uh, butternut seeds that I saved uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And after they had dried out, I took a couple of them. And let's see if I can open this up. Hopefully I'll be able to open this up with one hand while I'm holding the, you'll have to forgive me for blurring that out for a minute as I try to get closer so that things can be seen. There we go. There we go. So these I had just put in this uh, plastic bag with just a little bit of water a few days ago. And these just came out of a, a squash within the last two weeks. And you'll notice with a little bit of water, those are sprouting. And uh, they're ready I could have put those in dirt and I could still put those in dirt right now and I probably will. And uh, But these are butternut squash seeds. And if we look at the date on that, 226. So that was just about 10 days ago uh, that I put those uh, in this paper towel. So I guess it was about two weeks ago that I had dried those out. But these are already getting roots on them. One, two. Uh, this one I don't see any roots yet, this little guy. But this one's got a root started out of there, and so does this. And those can all turn into squash plants. It's actually a bit early to be planting those, but I wanted to be able to see how many of those. It looks like four out of five of those are growing. And uh, whether I keep those inside or not and, and put them in this pot, I'm not sure. I'll probably do that, but it'll be a little bit early, and we'll see what happens. Anyway, this is Rod. Live within your means. Have a wonderful day.